G'day, how you going? Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing today, uh, but first, welcome to Wajit Country. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land. So this box has arrived from uh, South Africa, and I guess you can guess um, what manufacturer that is. So let's get into it. So this box has arrived from Jim Green in South Africa. Uh, I'm very excited because it's uh, going to be my second Jim Green, of course. You'd have seen my African Ranger videos. But this one is the first Chelsea boot that I would have got from Jim Green. And it's arrived in a nicely packaged uh, courier bag. Uh, as usual, it's got the uh, Brick Bar, uh, Dutch or Afrikaans for fragile. So let's get it open if I can figure out how. And there, of course, is Jim Green the Frog in their Jim Green uh, shoe box. And let's open it up and take a look. So, oh, that's very nice. So, as usual, uh, we have the Jim Green card talking about boot care tips. The legend was born. And here is the Stockman, the Jim Green Stockman. In really nice, uh, smooth leather. Quite a wide last. They're packaged nicely with cloth bags couple of Jim Green stickers so um, these probably go on my computer and let's take a look at the boots as they come out so uh, as you can see the Stockman is a Chelsea boot very interesting goring here which is quite that's the kind of the most textured goring that I've ever seen little Jim Green tag two pull loops front and back uh, from what I can see, it's lined on the inside with uh, the Jim Green um, removable insole. The leather actually looks really nice. It's built on a Commando lug sole. Uh, it's a Jim Green proprietary one. It feels quite solid and it smells of rubber, so it's quite a, a solid rubber compound. Uh, the stitching is a stitch down construction. You can see the uppers have been flanged out and then stitched down into the mid welt, the mid sole. I was going to say the, the welt and the sole, but I think there's no welt. I think there's just a mid sole, uh, which may be leatherboard rather than leather from the looks of the edge of it. And then the, uh, the uh, rubber sole just gets glued onto it. It's fairly solid working boot style condition you know not, nothing fancy but it's a good solid boot uh, there's a jim green logo which is not as well impressed as on my uh, african rangers uh, and overall a nice shape i'm sure that's going to be comfortable around the foot uh, so now time for a bit of a try on okay so proof of the pudding um, let's try them on they're actually looking really nice very nice leather but you know it's made for abuse i think that went on really easily um these are true to size for me they're uk seven and a half um, size which is my uk brannock size that was easy putting them on with the two pull tabs the uh, fit is nice it's roomy so there's absolutely no snugness there um, it's a structured toe and quite roomy um, Different from my African Rangers from Jim Green, which I think if you'd seen the video, you would see me say that I, the, the um, top of the toe box, I was very conscious of on the top of my toe because it's, it's quite a, a flatter last, I think, on that, or made a bit flatter in the uh, crazy horse leather. These seem to fit quite well. They're comfortable underfoot. The leather feels tough. 
I can feel a little heel slip. I think mainly because um, two things. I think one is I'm wearing dress socks, having just come back from work uh, and not wearing any particularly rugged boots. So uh, thicker socks would fit better in here, I think. But the other thing is I can feel already that the sole is quite, quite stiff and that's going to need breaking in where the ball of my foot breaks. Um, but as you can see, these fit well. I have no hot spots and they feel pretty good. Okay, so um, let's take a bit of time to go through Jim Green, uh, the Stockman boot, and my initial impressions. So Jim Green is a South African boot making company, three generations old. They're based in Peter Maritzburg in the KwaZulu Natal region of South Africa. Uh, they make a series of tough work boot, hiking boot, um, basically bush bashing related boots. This is their Chelsea model called the Stockman. And uh, it's designed as an all round boot for everyday challenges. Uh, it's really built for um, casual, comfortable wear that you might also want to wear, say, uh, on a farm uh, or even just some basic uh, yard work at home. Uh, it's 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 easily capable of being worn casually going to the pub um, just going out for walks and so on there's a combination of different materials here which i might just go through quite quickly so it's made of a brown leather i'm not sure where what the tannery is but i'm pretty sure it's a local tannery uh quite in, in south africa because jim green tends to use local product uh, local labor trying to keep the uh, economy uh, going for them and their employees. It's made of two layers of leather, 2.2 uh, millimeters full grain leather lined with a calf leather that's uh, 1.6 millimeters thick. So overall, um, nearly four millimeters of, of leather between you and the outside. The toe is structured, as you can see, it's quite a wide last. Um, and, and quite differently from my experience of the African Rangers, it, it doesn't sort of, um, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not constantly aware of, that, of pressure on the toe uh, because of the toe puff. In this case, I, I feel it's a little bit wider and higher. The toe puff there is thermoplastic. That's like a celastic, basically a, uh, a, a fabric that's infused with uh, plastics that you can warm up and, it, and mold it and then it stiffens into shape. Uh, the heel stiffener is also thermoplastic, but it's, it's not particularly stiff, so it's not uncomfortable. The shape of the boot is quite straight up and down, but I expect that to break in and then gradually, you know, form a little bum here and then straight up the Achilles tendon. They do use a steel shank in this uh, commando sole. It's a proprietary commando sole with a Jim Green label on it, uh, but similar in design to Vibram with these lugs going out and the star-like lugs on the inside. Quite grippy. I've taken it out for a walk this afternoon uh, just to, to feel the comfort and what it's like to, to uh, wander around in it. It's fairly heavy. Um, it's not nicks or whites, or, but it is, it is re it's reasonably he heavy. I was saying there is a steel shank. Uh, it, it, under this this uh, section here between the insole board and the midsole and that steel shank pr provides you with extra support and stability in in the arch there uh the insole board or or basically i think that might be 
called, also called the midsole, and I think it's made of leatherboard, is that's the part in between the uppers and the rubber lug sole. You can you can see that there. You can see this is this is the flanged out uppers. There's the leatherboard, and then there's the sole. The flanged out uppers will give you a clue as to the construction method. It's a stitch down construction method, 360 degrees. So what happens is the uppers are lasted and then they're flanged out. The uh, midsole slash insole is attached with a stitch going all the way around uh, uh, through the flanged out uppers into the midsole. And then the rubber lug sole is glued on. Uh, you can see the stitch uh, cord or thread that goes through to stitch the uppers to the to the midsole insole is actually quite thick. It's two point two millimeters. It's double stitch, so there's actually a, a, a double stitch and it's braided. So there you are. Um, that finishes the unboxing and my initial impressions. Uh, a really sturdy boot, I think. I'm going to be enjoying uh, taking this out for some um, long walks and hikes and uh, maybe use them around the yard for a bit of a work boot. Uh, they, they certainly feel sturdy enough. They fit me well. Uh, under, I think it was um, uh, under 1,800 Rand, which is under 200 Australian dollars uh, plus postage isn't bad for a nice little work boot like this. It is uh, stitch down construction, so it's different from Aussie work boots, which tend to be um, TPU units that are molded onto the uh, uh, uppers and not necessarily resolable. These will be resolable. Uh, so let's carry on and uh, I'll bring you a long term review in about three months time. It's November 22. I'll come back in uh, February 23 and tell you how I got on with these Jim Green boots.